Hey YouTube, hope you all had a Merry Christmas and looking forward to a Happy New Year. I've decided that with the new year, uh, my resolution is to get back on track with my planet tanks. So yesterday I spent about 10 hours going through all my tanks, give them a real good heavy trim and a thorough cleaning. And right now I'm just gonna kinda do a quick walk through the fish room and take a look at the results of that. So these nanos have kind of been battling some hair algae throughout the year and for the most part I've kind of just had them on the back burner so I'm gonna through this year I want to refocus on them and kind of make these my crown jewel again like they once were. But just kind of here's a quick look. I did swap out um, the light bulb I was using for the DIY part of my lighting on here and that's kind of added a nice effect to it so I got this kind of nice shimmering glow coming from the top I'm pretty happy with it so those are kind of looking pretty nice the beta tanks over here the big tank the one everybody always wants to know about we'll go ahead and go to it next I ended up deciding to pull out that real tall monstrous plant in the back it was just blocking way too much flow uh, from the filter and it was just trapping a lot of debris in the tank and honestly it was just kind of overtaking the scape and throwing the scale of the tank off and it was just it was darkening everything up, swollen up a lot of light it was just messing the whole thing up so you know I kind of want the the hardscape to play more of a role in this tank and I definitely think it looks a lot nicer without that I still have some of it here in the front so and a little bit here in the back but it's not gonna overtake everything like it was and it opened up a lot more swimming space for the fish again because all the fish were pretty much just clumped up in the front of the tank and I want them to you know swim throughout the entire tank and kind of circle around it I want it to feel you know like an island in the middle and with all that clumped up in the back it just it just wasn't working out so I did move some of this uh, tall grass in the back I'm gonna kind of let it fill in but even then if it starts getting too tall and thick I'll thin it out but I am a lot happier. I did keep the one tall Amazon and kind of just moved it further back, but I am happy with the uh, overall look now. And the mangroves are a lot more noticeable now. So, pretty happy with that. I think I am gonna go dig out some more, uh, find some more rock, maybe add a little bit here. But pretty happy about that. The tank is still clearing a bit because I did stir up a lot of crud out from the sand and for anyone who's curious here is I got somebody who's coming by to get this but here is all that plant I pulled out from the back and uh, bundled up right there so pulled a good bit out and all that started from just a little pack like that much that stuff grows like weeds so then over here in the 30 gallon, as far as plants, planted tanks go, for me, this is kind of right now, this is top dog in my fish room. Um, I went ahead and pulled, same thing here. Um, this plant was just kind of overtaking everything in the back. I did do a heavy trim of it and then it was still just looking real messy. And honestly, I had it split both sides of this center part here. I just had too much of it and I didn't like how symmetrical it was. <coughs> so, <coughs> oh, excuse me. I did go ahead and keep it on this side over here because I do like the way it kind of overflows and kind of flows through the tank once it's grown in. But I ripped it up on this side and added in some grass because I wanted some more diversity and to mix it up because that's the one thing I love about this tank so much is the amount of diversity and how mixed up with plants it is but anyway 
Um, I wanted to keep this short. I'm about to run out of memory on my phone again. Uh, so y'all have a happy new year. Um, y'all let me know some of your resolutions as far as tanks go. And y'all have a good one. Stay safe out there. And I hope y'all have a blast ringing in the new year. Have a good one and make it a great 2017.